Observations are something that flat earthers love to do. However, they usually either get it a little bit wrong or horribly wrong, or they're a little bit deceitful with their figures. And we're gonna look at some of these flat earth observations today, where apparently in one of those observations, there is 1,500 meters of missing curvature. Should we be worried or have they hashed up again? Let's find out. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Raycon. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by making great sound for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at about half the price of other premium audio brands. Co-founded by Ray J, celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Brandy are obsessed with Raycons. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. It's coming up to the summer here in the Northern Hemisphere which means we are going to be outside a lot more for the next few months. Take your Raycons with you and listen to some Simon Dan podcast to while away the afternoons. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colours and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems and they also have a 45 day free return policy. Click on the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash simandan to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Right, back to the latest video where we're looking at some flat earther observations. Incidentally, observations were former flat earther Ranty's expertise when he was a flat earther. Now he has now started a new channel called Flaspective where he mocks the flat earthers hard. Link for that is in the description. Please do go and check it out. The videos are hilarious. Today though, we look at flat earther called Marco B, who is making some observations near Croatia, I believe. Away you go, Marco. In this video, I'll be showing you four observations from four different locations. The first three observations are of the same island. And then in the fourth one, I'm showing you four islands all together. So let's see the first one. You can see here I'm about one meter of the sea level and I will show you on the map so just above the Africa across the Italy in Dubrovnik. My location was here just under the bridge right here. Okay so we've got an observation here with an observation height with what Marco tells us as one meter but if we take a look at Marco's photo I'm not convinced that that's only one meter. However, we will give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. And then the island was this one, which is the uh, island of St. Andrea. And it's 10.7 kilometers away. And let's see here, 10.7 should be 8.9 meters of curvature. Okay, so Marco is expecting to see 8.99 meters of missing island. Let's first off use a curve calculator that takes refraction into account, and we'll see that there should be around 3.15 meters missing. And then on my picture, you see this is the, uh, this is the coastline, and then this is another small island. You can see here, this is the coastline here, and then this is a small island. So that's it, and here you can see little 20 centimeters wave splashing on the surface of the island. How do you know that that's a 20 centimeter wave? And three meters is a rough refractive calculation. Could be more, could be less. Plus, your viewer height is in question as well. So this should not be possible if there was nine meters of curve. And also just to make sure this top of the island is only 57 meters in altitude. And you can see here, it's only 57 meters in altitude. So top one, uh, right side of the island is 57 meters. This side is about 20 meters. So how am I able to see little waves splashing of 20 centimeters? If this entire part here is about 20 meters tall, this is about 10 meters in the middle. And there is nine meters of curvature missing here, so. Except it's not nine meters. 
This observation and result is way too ambiguous to be conclusive. Let's move on to the second one. First test, there is no curve. Let's see, the second one is from Plat, same island. You can see this rocky beach. Now I'll show you on the maps. So this is Plat here, and I will draw this line here, and I will pinpoint location right now. It's just here on the beach. Here. And you can see this beach with pretty big rocks. It's this one. And let's see, it's 23.2 kilometers away. Away. So 23.2 kilometers. 23.2. There should be 42 meters of curvature. Again, we'll give him the one meter observation height, but again, let's check the uh, curve calculator with the refractive calculation in it because of course refraction does exist and we get a refracted hidden height of 25 meters. And remember, island is only 57 meters tall. So let's see the images. See this one? That's the top of the island, little lighthouse on top. That's the side, I mean left part of the island. This one is like 20 meters tall. So like, I'm missing, I'm missing 42 meters of curvature here. Now, if we take that refractive value of about 25 meters, then I would say that looks about right. Plus, you're completely debunking yourself here because your two different observations should show the exact same amount of island if the Earth was indeed flat. And you can quite clearly see that they do not. And you can see here, no, I think it's here. You can see the light, you can see the lighthouse lighting up. And here you can see I'm just above the sea, maybe like 1.2 meters. Which of course makes the result even worse for you. Next! Let's see the experiment from Malunat, which is even further away. I will show you here. So this is the second observation, this is Malunat here. And I will try this line all the way to the Malunat. And I was just here on the coast. Find it here. So this is 44 meters, uh, 44 kilometers distance. And you can see at 44 kilometers, there should be 151 meters of curve. Let's hold fire here for a second, shall we? Because on this one, I genuinely do have some reservations about his observer height. And I will show you on the fo in the folder. You can barely see it here, but that's the island. It was pretty foggy day this day. But you can see top of the island and then going slope down to the left. And you can see it in the video clearly. Okay, but your observer height is... From 44 kilometers, 150 meters of curve, but I see island of 57 meters in altitude. Clearly, and in this video it doesn't show you it. Yeah, in the other video I'm not sure if it's this one. Yeah, here, I think it's here. You can see the lighthouse. Fine, I'll do it myself. A quick look at a topographic map tells us that the road there is 141 feet above sea level, which is about 43 meters. Now, let's pop that into our curve calculator, shall we? A viewer height of 44 meters, including your tripod, and a distance of 44 kilometers gives us a hidden height of 22.84 meters. So your observation is pretty much exactly what we'd expect to see. Another one debunked. What else have you got for us, Marco? Here in the last one, I'm actually seeing, I'll show you, it's in Pravlaka, from Pravlaka, I'll show you the maps. Pravlaka is here. And I was on this little kind of beach here on the edge. And I'll drag this even further. My location was just here. And now you can see everything beyond this point would not be visible of this small island that is pretty close to me. And what I was able to see from Pravlaka was Milet, Korčula, Vis and Lastovo. 
And you can see here I will show you. It was green today, so I will mute it. So you can see here it's rocky beach with a road on top. And then this is pretty narrow part. So across this road there is like another small beach and then this is going to the right side about two or three kilometers. Okay, so on another beach and your telescope looks at about sea level. Fine. I will show you on the maps now. So this is my location. That's the across the road and then there is small beach. And then this one is going about three kilometers to the right. So this is my observation, observation location. And I will show you, this is Mlet. And if I look down the Mlet, it's overlapping with Korchula. And then you can see it's, it's overlapping with Korchula. After Korchula, it's kind of overlapping with Vis. But this part of the island is pretty shallow, so you cannot really see it. And then after this, I go to the left, you can see Park Prio de Lasto, which is island, uh, 135 kilometers away. So let's start off with Milet. I will show you in the video. That's the coast. To the left, you can barely see it here. But, and then this is Lasto, I will show you in the video. Okay, that was quite quick. Can you break that down for us? It's this one, I think. Okay, so that's the coast. And if I pan to the left, you will see. Okay, I will pause right here. So this is Mlet, this first half. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. The center of the island you call Mlet is about 85 kilometers from your location. That means you're going to have around 446 meters of hidden curvature. The thing is though, that Mlet, at its highest point of elevation, is 514 meters. So, why wouldn't you see some of it? And then this is Korchla, and after Korchla this is Vis. And let's see now in the Google. So Mlet is about 70 kilometers from beginning and about 100 kilometers at the end. Let's say 80 kilometers. There should be 500 meters of curve. So even with your incorrect figures, you would still see some of it. And Otok Island Mlet is just 514 meters in altitude. So I shouldn't be able to see any of this. I should be able to see just a little top of the island, but I see it entirely. And then Korchula, which is overlapping with that, is 140 kilometers away. And at 140, there should be 1,500 meters of curve. From this point onwards, I think there is some confusion. If we go back to Marcus's photo, then how do we know that this is Korchula? It could still be Mlet, and I suspect it is. Now, I'm gonna give Marco a bit of credit here because he certainly seems genuine when it comes to these observations. And I don't think he's trying to deliberately mislead us. However, when you drill down to the numbers with these observations and you take a closer look, then I think what you'll find is that these observations are pretty much what you'd expect to see. Credit for effort though, Marco. Well, there we go. What a great one to come back to. Always love an observation video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please, please do like and subscribe as well if the feeling takes you. It would be truly appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank Raycon for sponsoring today. Remember, visit buyraycon.com slash simandan for 15% off your first Raycon purchase. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you all on Tuesday for some more tinfoil fun. See you then.